Welcome back. You're watching News Center. Clean energy company Renew has expanded its capacity to 10 gigawatt of gross renewable assets. The company has completed construction of nearly 2 gigawatts worth of assets in FY24. The company's revenue generation capacity stands at 9.5 gigawatts. Renew is among the leading clean energy companies and it claims to be contributing nearly 10% to India's renewable energy capacity. To take this forward, we are joined by Suman Sinha, founder, chairman and chief executive officer of Renew. Thank you for joining us on the program. The cumulative capacity of Renew is now, when it comes to renewable energy, is now over 10 gigawatt. What will this mean for your growth plans in FY25, Mr. Sinha? Yeah, hi, Parikshit. Uh, look, I think that our growth plans for FI25 are very clear. Uh, we had about four gigawatts of projects that we had signed uh, earlier itself. On top of that, we've won another seven gigawatts of auctions in the last uh, one year. And so our total pipeline now with commission capacity is 21 gigawatts. Um, we will be we commissioned, as, a, as you said, two gigawatts last year, uh, close to two gigawatts last year. And so the expectation is that we'll actually add somewhat more capacity than we did last year uh, and, and sort of uh, make sure that we do a significant chunk out of the 10 gigawatts going forward over the next several years. Right. What is the current uh, demand for renewable energy like and how do you see this expanding in FI25? Yeah, so, you know, that's a great question. Right now, as you know, power demand in India is growing at about 7 to 8% a year uh, with manufacturing PLIs coming in, with the, the whole EV boom taking off, I would expect that power demand is going to grow at even faster levels than 7 8%. And most of that has to be met by renewable energy because that's the government's uh, target and mandate. And what that will mean, therefore, is that we'll be adding more than 50 gigawatts of renewables every year over the next several years, um, up from 50 to 20 gigawatts that we've been adding up till now. So we're looking at a 3x increase in capacity addition terms uh, over the next several years compared to what we've been doing right now. So the market really is going to take off quite substantially. Mm -hmm. And then towards the back end of this decade, you'll see a lot mm -hmm. more demand coming in for green hydrogen uh, capacities as well. And that will actually uh, even more increase the requirement for renewable energy. Now, one more thing to keep in mind is that uh, we as a company generated almost 10% of the total renewable energy uh, generation that, was ha that happened last year. Um, and uh, going forward, we obviously hope for that number to, uh, to increase. Uh, but of course, we'll have to wait and see how the market uh, evolves. Uh, but that's really where we are. The second thing also to uh, point out is that hmm. not every gigawatt or not every megawatt of renewable energy capacity is the same. Uh, two gigawatts of solar typically equals one megawatt of wind in terms of capital invested. And so you have to look at also the composition of the wind and solar in a portfolio. And the best way to look at it is actually in terms of total revenue a total number of units of renewable energy generated, which, as I said, in our case, uh, gave us a 10% market share of the total market of renewable energy last year. Right. Uh, I would also like to ask you about uh, the green hydrogen space. Last year, in an interview, you had said that you want to enter green hydrogen in a big way. Uh, where do things stand as far as the company's green hydrogen plan goes? Yeah, so, you know, there are several elements to the green hydrogen plan that we have. Uh, of course, for the domestic market, we have a joint venture with Indian Oil Corporation and LNT to service the domestic market. For the international market, whether it's projects in the Far East or in Europe, primarily, we are able to do those or we are able to sort of develop those projects ourselves. We are currently in conversation with a number of potential off-takers to see whether we can get into, uh, in some ways, green hydrogen purchase contracts that, are, that make you know, economic sense right now. So I would say that it will take another year or two for some of these projects to come to uh, a point where we can start construction. Uh, and then towards the back end of this decade is when you'll actually start seeing a lot more uh, evolution of this business. So I think it's an important element. Uh, it mm -hmm. is an element that is going to add to uh, renewable energy capacity additions in the next several years. Uh, so therefore, we consider it a pretty important area for us to continue to work in. Right. Now, when it comes to uh, the Vixit Bharat program, every ministry in the government is working on a 100 days agenda and a larger blueprint of what India needs to do in terms of reforms, in terms of targets by 2047. Uh, what would be your immediate expectation from the government in reforms 
uh, as soon as the elections are over, number one, in the first 100 days, and for the long term, if there are certain reforms that you're really hoping for, Mr. Sinha, what would those be in the renewable energy sector? Well, you know, Parikshit, we've actually been quite blessed in our sector that the government has taken such an active interest and, and is pushing our sector forward so uh, significantly. Uh, there are a lot of actions that they've already taken. For example, last year in FI24, the amount of bids that we had was close to 60 to 65 gigawatts. When you look at the RE capacity that is auctioned, uh, which is a very significant increase from what was being done before that. Uh, there is work happening on developing an appropriate amount of transmission capacity for all of that. And there are a number of other mechanisms that are coming in to, uh, in some ways, incentivize the distribution utilities to buy more and more power. And so I think that a lot has been done by this government. And I think now with mandates potentially coming in for green hydrogen base capacities as well, that will just add to uh, the, the total capacity addition that we're looking at in our sector. So as I said, our sector has been has been quite fortunate that the government has taken a very strong view. Uh, I think in terms of the things that the government might look at doing next year, there could be bids around offshore wind, uh, which is the which the government has announced already. There could be standalone further bids for uh, storage. I think that might also happen over the course of next year. I would also uh, potentially feel and believe that the government is likely to continue to auction 50 gigawatts of renewable energy capacity every year. So I think all of that will be a continuation of the plans that the government has already put in right now. I think, of course, you can always argue for tweaks on right. tax policy and those kinds of things, which if the government does is, of course, terrific. But even if it doesn't, I think we're very, very well placed to grow in the future. Right. And how well positioned are you in terms of deploying further CapEx in FY25? Uh, tell us about certain areas uh, which would be your focus areas for FY25 going ahead? You know, for us, it's very clear. We all, uh, The market side for us is not a problem. We have a lot of pipeline sitting with us right now. Um, there is a lot of demand growth that is happening in our, in our sector. Renewables is cheaper, and so therefore it is very clearly the way to solve the power deficit uh, issue and, and meet increasing power demand. Uh, for us, therefore, the market side is not a problem. We are really focusing on executing on capacity because that is really how the company will continue to grow further. And we want to execute this capacity at the cheapest possible cost and make sure that we continue to remain best in class in terms of execution at the ground level. To give you an example, of the close to 3,200 megawatts of wind capacity commission last year, Renew added almost a quarter of that total capacity. And so we are really, I think, one of the prime movers of the renewable energy uh, capacity addition sector, and we want it to remain that way. So we will continue to focus on core execution. We feel that is the job that we have to do in terms of providing more clean energy assets to the country. All right, we've run out of time. But Suman Sinha, thank you very much for joining us on the program. Uh, let's see what uh, plans the government has in store in terms of increasing adoption of renewable energy after elections 2024. With that, we come to the end of New Centre. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.